Hey, before we start this review, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more awesomeness. Also, be sure to join the Discord in the link down below. So, are you shopping for a television and you only got $130 to spare? Well, guess what? Walmart and Roku have teamed up to bring you a line of televisions. Here, we're going to be talking about the on 32 inch television. Let's get to it. It comes with a 32 inch DLED panel that outputs 720p. However, 32 inches is not the only option that you have. You also have 24 inches, 43 inches, 50 inches, 55 inches, and it goes up to 65 inches. Anything from 43 inches on up will come in 4K. The screen comes with a 60 hertz refresh rate, but however, it does not provide completely accurate colors. When watching this baseball game, I noticed that a lot of the colors were completely overblown in some situations, and playing video games, you notice that most colors are not accurate. In fact, a lot of them seem to be dark. You could see me here playing MLB The Show 20, and you could see that the crowd is not really the best color accurate. And even playing Uncharted 4, as you see me doing here, the colors, again, just simply not accurate. And Uncharted 4 is an incredibly beautiful game, which I recommend you play if you have not played at all. On the back, you have three HDMI ports, a USB 2.0 port that outputs at 5 volts, an optical Ethernet cable for internet connections through a wire, a coaxial port, a reset button, and a courage jack, aka the headphone jack. If there's one feature I miss from today's smartphones that are coming out, it's an IR blaster. However, Roku fixes that. As you could see here, I'm able to control my television through my phone, which means that if I lose my remote, no problem, I have my phone by my side. One of the great things about having a Roku device is that you can actually listen through your earphones through the remote. However, this remote does not have a headphone jack at all. So you have to use your phone if you wanna do that. However, because it does run Roku software, you can use your phone to listen to the audio from the TV, making it a perfect TV to buy if you live in a roommate situation like I do. This guy has a pretty good YouTube channel here. To do so, go into the Roku app, press the D-pad like button on the top right, then press the headphones in the app. You could do this by plugging your headphones into the headphone jack, or you could use the Bluetooth earphones and you're good to go. However, I must tell you that using your headphones on your phone to listen to the TV it doesn't work through all inputs. I tried it with my Chromecast and apparently it does not support it through the Chromecast. So just buy or beware. It comes with a remote that has sort of a matte black finish to it. It has quick access to Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix, and Vudu. A home and back button. The D-pad like directional buttons on the top with an OK button right in the middle. A repeat button, a sleep timer button, an options button, and your fast forward, rewind, and play pause buttons as well. Roku TV provides free content with a selection of genres. Sports doesn't have live games, but you have plenty of sports content such as documentaries and sports shows and things like that. And news is exactly that. News. These days it doesn't appear to be good news. If you are in Google's ecosystem, this television has your back. However, it also has Google Play Movies and TV, which is a really good thing, especially if you're an Android user. The speakers on this television can get loud. However, they do not provide as much bass as I personally would like them to. On the software side, I would advise you personally to use a streaming stick if you can because I have found some apps to be kind of slow on this television. 
within the YouTube app, I was trying to play about an hour long video and apparently it was just loading, loading, loading at points it froze and it got to a point where the television just kind of shut off on its own. Even Hulu at points was kind of janky when I was trying to put on some content on the television. And so for that reason, I personally still use my Chromecast. However, going throughout the Roku software actually was not that bad of an experience. As you could see, it works very fluidly. Home is where all your apps will be. You press the right button and from there you're able to access all your apps. Featured free is where you can find all your free content. Latest news is where you can go to watch the news and political content. My feed is where you can go to follow different television shows and where new releases of new episodes and movies can be found as well. Movies and TV is where you can go to find your television shows and you can also find your movies and it is powered by Vudu. Search allows you to look for content and it also allows you to look for channels as well. And speaking of channels, Streaming channels is where you go to find apps that have content with them. This is also where you find your cord cutting services and you could download and install those. Settings as well, just that, settings. Assistant works with this television, but it's okay at best. Turning off the TV, not a problem. Hey Google, turn off my TV. Got it. Turning off the bedroom Roku. Turning on the TV after being off for a long period of time, it's probably not going to happen. I had to go into settings, about, then I had to turn on a feature called Fast TV Start. Setting it up was a little bit cumbersome as it was a little bit difficult to get the screws into the holes. However, once I was able to do it, it was pretty easy from there. However, you don't have to use the stands if you're going to mount it to a wall. You can use the four screw holes in the back to mount it to a wall of some kind. That's been it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this review of the On Television. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also press that notification bell down below so that this way you know when I upload again. Also, be sure to join my Discord server as well, where we'll be talking about all kinds of different things. And also, be sure to follow my Twitch channel also. That is going to be linked down below. And um, I will see you in the next one. See ya!